praise the lord dear children of god we welcome you to our online english service greetings to you in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen let us look to the lord in prayer our almighty father we praise you lord we glorify your name thank you for giving us this new day to worship you to praise you lord fill us with your blessings lord we have come into your presence to receive blessings from your hands lord as we sing praises to you be glorified let your name be glorified lord you are worthy of all the honor all the praise thank you lord jesus we worship you we worship you lord speak to us through your precious word purify our hearts through your word lord we submit all of us in your mighty hand in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah hallelujah our jehovah god has so many names amen he is almighty father he is a way maker he is a promise keeper he has lord and lord of names amen among all the other names one of the names is Jehovah Jireh hallelujah he provides all our needs amen Jehovah God Jehovah Jireh provides all our needs amen when Isaac asked his father Abraham father the fire and wood are here but where is the lamb for the burnt offering for this question how Abraham replied he said God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering amen God himself will provide yes God provided the lamb for Abraham and Isaac the same God is living today is among us today he will provide all our needs amen the bible says my god will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in christ jesus let us sing praises to the lord who supply all our needs each and every day hallelujah jehovah jireh my provider let us clap our hands let us sing to the lord Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. For me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. My God shall, my God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. Sing again, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh. My provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. My God shall supply all my needs. According to His riches and glory, He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh. My provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My God 
Lord shall supply all my needs According to His riches and glory He will give His angels charge over me Jehovah Jireh cares for me For me, for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me My God shall supply all my needs According to His riches and glory He will give His angels charge over me Jehovah Jireh cares for me For me, for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me Again, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. For me, for me, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. Sing again, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. For me, for me, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches Jehovah Jireh cares for me. He supplies all my needs. Amen. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. For me, for me, Jehovah. Lord God cares for every one of us. Amen. He, he can supply all our needs according to His riches and glory. Heaven and earth belong to our God. He is the creator of heavens and the earth. Amen. He is all powerful. He is all powerful. He is rich in His love. He is rich in all the glories. He can supply all your needs. Amen. Today, if you worry about anything, cast your burden set to the Lord. He sustains you. He supplies all your needs. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us see. Let us sing another song. He is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He is the promise keeper. He is the light in the darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a way maker. He makes a way where there is no way. When the world closes all the doors, the Lord gives you a new way hallelujah hallelujah he god sets apart a new way for each and every one of us he has a specific way he has a unique way for your life hallelujah he is the way maker he is the miracle worker he is the god of miracles he separates the red sea for the israelites hallelujah he does all the miracles for your life for your earthly life and for your heavenly life hallelujah he is the god of miracles he is the promise keeper hallelujah hallelujah all the promises god has given to you he will keep he will keep all the promises he will fulfill his promises in your life hallelujah i mean he is the promise keeper he never forgets the promises Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, thank you, Lord. You are the light and the darkness. There is darkness everywhere. If you feel there is darkness in your life, submit your life into the hands of God. He will give you light. He is the light of the world. He came to this world to give you light. Hallelujah. He is the light in the darkness. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you for being with us. You are in our midst. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. See it. 
it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working Never stop, you never stop working Never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working Never stop, you never stop working Never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working Never stop, you never stop working Never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working Never stop, you never stop 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 working Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Lord, you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. All your goodness are new every morning. You never stop working in my life. Even you never stop your miracles in my life. Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all your goodness in my life, in our life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give us in your hands. We give us as a living sacrifice in your hands, Lord. Hallelujah. Have control on of our life. Let everything we do bring glory to your name. Let everything we say bring glory to your name. Be with us throughout this week, Lord. Fill us with your glory. Fill us with your presence. Fill us with your anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you for your loving kindness, Lord Jesus. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, loving God Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this lovely day to worship you, Lord. Jehovah Jireh, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, we praise you, Lord. Lord, you are the way maker, you are the miracle work, Lord, in our lives. Lord, we want your blessings, we need your blessings, Lord. Bless the people who are watching this. Bless the person who is going to give your words, Lord. We want to hear your voice through him, Lord. Speak with us. Let your Holy Spirit may continue to guide us in everything we do. We submit everything into your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, it's good to be in the presence of God. I am so happy and glad to be with you and share the word of God. I hope you all enjoyed the worship service. So I am excited to share the word of God. So sit in a prayerful attitude so that the word of God will minister to you, your hearts and minds. So today for meditations, turn your Bibles to the uh, book of 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 18. Book of 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 18. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord and he said, Who am I, sovereign Lord, and what is my family, and that you have brought me this far? Underline the word, Who am I, sovereign Lord, and what is my family, that you have brought me this far? Here David states that, You have brought me this far. Our life is a life of journey. It is, we have to walk, we have to cross many distances. So this life is only, we have came this far only by God's grace. 
if you are came up to this a part of life not by our strength not by our power not by our wisdom only by pure god's grace that's why david says that you have brought me this far he didn't say i have i came through my strength through through my ability he didn't say he didn't mention that he said lord you have me you have brought me this far see when the people of israel uh, was slave in egypt around 430 years they came to canaan not through by moses only god has brought them to the promised land so in our life to give all glory and honor to praise to give thanks is only the only the worthy person is our lord jesus christ because he only brought us thus far that's why there is a song in tamil we says that when we walk and when we turn back and we see our life is full of mysteries life is full of thorns and life is full of difficulties only by god's grace we have came here so how many of you can say boldly and praise god that lord you have brought me this far you are, you are the one who guided us you are the one who leaded us you are the one who uh, lifted us from all kind of situations of our life so today i want to in from from where god has brought to this life i want to state a three kind of situation from where god has brought us from to this good life to this wonderful life to this beautiful life number one in we are going to meditate from the life of david itself in sam david says sam 40 uh, verse 2 and 3 says he lifted up lifted me out of the slimy pit out of the mud and mire he set up my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand verse 3 says he put a new song in my mouth a hymn of praise to our god many will see and fear the lord and put their trust in him amen here yeah, david says there is another translation says he brought me up also out of an horrible pit out of the miry clay see what does it mean a horrible pit in another psalms david explain what is the meaning of pit pit is not mean we see in through our naked eyes not just a five deep pit not not just as a den deep pit what what does it mean pit in david's language in psalm 28 one he explains to you lord i call you are my rock do not turn a deaf ear to me for if you are remain silent i will be those who go down to the pit here pit is not a ordinary pit he says he says it it means a pit of the death what does it mean the miry clay it means clay is a very dangerous one it it will kill us so that what david explain is god you are the one who brought me from the path of death hallelujah david life there is a lot of time he undergone the face of death uh or during taking care of his sheep there was a lion came not the lion we, which we see in our zoos it was a terrible lion which he never met before there was a big bear came your wild bear came to kill david and his sheep but he says god gave me strength to kill the lion and bear the another time in first samuel chapter 17 and 18 goliath the philistine came and he said goliath said hey david i will kill you and i will make you food for birds but david see him as a a small dog and god gave enable him to kill david sorry kill goliath god brought him from the path of death god only saved him from the life of from the hand of goliath this another time even king saul filled with the spirit and he wants to uh, trying to kill david but only god has saved him that's why he said in psalm 42 lord you are the one who brought me up from the slimy pit out of the mud and mire hallelujah so 
God has saved us lot of path of death. Bible says wages of sin is death. From the wages of sin God has saved us. He gave a life, he gave a he gave a good health and he gave a good family. Do you remember many a times while we travel in a bike or in a car, while we travel in a public transport, there was a many accidents god has saved us so do you say that god you have brought me thus far you have brought me from a miry pit you have brought me from a slimy pit and a mud and mire he set us a feet on a rock and gave a firm place to stand hallelujah so god is the one who brought us from the a place of death where where he brought us from the place of death from the place of death to a place of established exaltation hallelujah god has brought us to a place of established exaltation that's why that's why he says in verse 3 in 40 he put a new song in my mouth a hymn of praise to our god many see and fear the lord and put their trust in him see god has brought as a place of ex, uh, established exaltation not only that to a place of exuberation exaltation come on somebody praise the lord for that hallelujah he gave a, a new song in our mouth we can say god is good all the time not just because god has brought us from the a place of death Hallelujah how many of you can you lift up your hand and say and praise God for a few times lord you are the one who gave us a life you are the one who saved us from the uh, place of death you are the one who saved us from the uh, many accidents and not only that now you kept us from the place of ex- established exaltation to the place of exuberation exaltation hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord taking us from the horrible pit thank you lord taking us from the mary clay hallelujah today god has brought us to a place of a firm place hallelujah today we are standing uh, not in a shattered place we are standing in the firm place because we are standing in the rock that rock is known as christ jesus hallelujah not to boast us not to boast not to exalt ourselves just to glorify the living god just to glorify the god whom is sitting on the throne so number 1 he brought us to a place of a firm place number 2 where god has brought from place second samuel chapter 22 verse 20 it says david says he brought me out into a spacious place he rescued me because he delighted in me hallelujah somebody praise god see he says he brought me into a spacious place god has brought us into a spacious place come on somebody put in a live chat that god has brought me a spacious place what is the br- b- background of spacious place in same chapter of second samuel 22 verse 1 david says david sang to the lord the words of the song when the lord delivered him from the hands of his enemies and from the hands of saul see bible says david says god has delivered me from the hands of saul to the spacious place so what was the endurance david to come to the spacious place just enemies so what enemies does to the life of david he, he explains in psalm 118 118 verse 5 he says when hard pressed i cried to the lord he brought me into a spacious place see see he says when hard pressed enemy pressed me but god brought me up to a place of spacious land in other words god brought me to a place of freedom hallelujah 
when there is a lot of distress lo- lot of enemies pressed me but gr- god brought me to a broad place god brought me to a, a place of freedom from the enemies distressment hallelujah in there is another psalm in 31 verse 7 and 8 david says i will be glad and rejoice in your love for you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul and verse 8 it says you have not given me into the hands of enemies but you have set my feet in a spacious place so in each and every psalm lord david says lord you are the one who brought me and you are the one who saved me from my enemies and you are the one who led me into a, a spacious space a place of freedom first we have seen god has brought david into a place of firm number 2 god has brought david into a place of freedom hallelujah and he said god has saved me from a fowler snares from a hunter snares many 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 time in david's life uh like a yeah, fowler hunters the enemies were kept a snare in the life of david you know when hunters come the fowlers come they will bring a uh, arrows but sometimes they will keep snares that snares will not can see in our eyes we we may fall at any time that's what happened in the life of david even uh king saul used snare as a own daughter that's what it says in first samuel chapter 18 20 to 21 it says now saul's daughter michael was in love with david and when they told saul about it he was pleased and he said i will give her to him he thought so that he may be a snare to him so that the hand of the philistines may be against him so saul said to david now you have a second opportunity to become my son in law then what he did you know saul he sent his uh, uh, attendants speak to david privately and say look the king likes you and his attendants all love you now you became his son in law see what kind of snare it is see this was a dangerous snare to kill david but you know what was david replied he they repeated this words to david but david said do you think it is a small matter to become the king's son in law i am only a poor man and little no see he was a i can say innocent innocent bird do he, he doesn't know this is a snare for me see this is what happened the yeah, enemy was keeping pressing on the life of david but what happened you know because god was with david and the hand of god was one upon david he wrote in psalms 124 in 7 he says we have escaped like a bird from the fowler snare the snare has been broken and we have escaped hallelujah when you are with the god when the god stand upon you the fowler snare will be broken and you will be escaped that's why in isaiah 54 sounding it says no weapon formed against you will prevail in the name of jesus the enemies are coming against you or the enemies are plotting many snare against you today i prophesy to you there will be no weapon formed against you will prevail in the name of jesus come on somebody praise the lord no weapon will form against you because your life is not on your hand your life is on god's hand if god brought you to a place he will he will he will lead you to a place of freedom a place of spacious land that was happened in the life of david that's why he says in sam 124 1 2 3 says if the lord has not been on our side let israel say if the lord has not been on our side when people attacked us they would have swallowed us alive when the hunger flood against us hallelujah that's why he says god you are the one who brought us to a place of freedom so number 1 God has brought me up to a place of firm number 2 God has brought me up to a place of freedom hallelujah so lot of enemies may come lot of people may distrust you people may wants to keep a lot of snare against you but still no weapon will prevail 
against you because the almighty god the god of israel the god of universe the god one who created you and me is with you and he is leading your life hallelujah so number 3 where god has brought us in psalm 66 verse 12 it says 66 12 you let people ride over your heads we went through fire and water but you brought us to a place of abundance see, see, see. number 3 he says god brought us to a place of abundance i can tell you it is a place of flourishment hallelujah number 1 he brought up to a place of firm number 2 he brought us brought us to a place of freedom number 3 he brought us to a place of flourishment so what happened from where he brought to a place of freedom 6612 it says people ride over your heads we went through fire and water wow what a, a difficult situation david has faced he said people were riding over my head people were walking above my head do you face that kind of situation see from where people will ride on animals those days people will ride on animals they will ride on camels they will ride on sheep goats uh, sorry uh, donkeys they used donkeys to ride but david says but people are riding on me it means people are controlling over me see once upon a time he wants to uh, visit his brothers and he see a goliath was uh, shouting against people of israel then he said i want to fight against goliath then what his brother's response was in verse 1728 when eliab david's oldest brother heard him speaking with the man he burned with anger and he said why have you come down here and with whom did you leave those few sheep in the wilderness i know you consulted you and no wicked your heart is you came down only to watch the battle they 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 tried to dominate dominion on david his elder brother asked hey where do you keep that few sheep man why do you come here and what do you have to speak in the battle see they were crushing they were traveling they were uh, we can say another word they were controlling david they were uh, sitting upon david they are controlling david that's why in isaiah 51 13 bible says 23 sorry 51 23 says i will put it into the hands of your tormentors who say to you fall prostrate that we may walk on you and you may made your back like the ground like a street to be walked on he says they are making me to bend down and they were sitting on my neck they are dominating and also degrading are people degrading you are people dominating you are people saying hey you are a fit for nothing you are useless you are unworthy people are dominating by their words people are degrading you by seeing your work today i prophesy you god is taking you to a place of abundance to a place of flourishment hallelujah when people speak more against you god is taking you more 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 than the miracles you see before hallelujah even your own family see who is degrading david your own family his own brothers later we can see even in first samuel chapter 20 30 31 say uh, even saul was speaking against david's family in 31 he says 20 31 as long as son of jesse lives on this earth neither the you nor your kingdom will be established now send someone to bring him to for he must die see how many insult how many humiliation david face but still he says lord god has brought me up let people ride over my head let we walk through fire and water but god brought us to a place of abundance hallelujah do you face that kind of experience in your life 
all people are speaking against me all people are riding over me i am walking through a, my life right now are you in a situation that my life is right now uh, i am walking through fire and water but today i prophesy you god will take you to a place of abundance a place of flourishment not only by your not by your strength not your power but only by pure god's grace hallelujah so number 3 david says god has brought me up to a place of flourishment amen so today we have seen three things here david says in second samuel 7:18 What is my family that you have brought me this far? I am nothing, Lord. You are the one who brought me up. To where? God brought me up to a firm place. Number two, God brought me up to a place of freedom. Number three, God brought me up to a place of flourishment. Today, are you in a place of death? Today, are you in a place of uh, enemies are surrounded you? Enemies are depressing you? Are you in a place of enemies are riding above you? Today I tell you, if God is in your life, if you acknowledge God, if you uh, accomplish God's purpose, and if you announce God's word, I, I, I am damn sure that God will take you to a firm place. God will take you to a, a place of freedom. God will take you to a, a place of flourishment. Hallelujah. So today, summit yourself our life is not like david's god has given a good life to us good family so today i i will tell you that god will take you to a firm place god will take you to a place of freedom and a place of flourishment so only one thing we have to do god acknowledge that you are the one who brought me this far amen do you surrender yourself and acknowledge that god is the one who brought me this far my life my family my job my salary whatever i get not by my strength not by my power not by my wisdom only by pure god's grace hallelujah let's close your eyes i'm going to pray for you hallelujah thank you lord lord as david says who am my sovereign lord and what is my family and you have brought me this far today we also say that statement lord you are the one who brought me from miry clay from a horrible pit from a enemies depressed situation from the place where enemies were riding over us and you have brought me to a firm place you have brought me to a place of freedom you have brought me to a, a place of flourishment no one can none of the enemy words no enemies the weapons will prevail against us master thank you lord thank you lord help us to walk in your way help us to study the word and help us to walk according to your word master thank you lord thank you for your grace thank you for your mercy and thank you for your good health in our life lord till the end of our life help us to acknowledge that through you only we are living you are the one who brought us thus far master i pray those who are listening this message let this message be a prophetic and let this message penetrate the hearts and mind lord in jesus name we pray amen 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 let's receive the lord's blessing the grace of the lord jesus the love of the father the sweet communion of the holy spirit be with us now and for evermore amen let's shout hallelujah hallelujah always acknowledge the god's presence in your life i hope you will have a, a blessed week ahead so we will we'll meet you in another online service until then bye bye god bless you